Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my son's nursery. Today is November 2nd and this is my weekly shop update. So I want to start up here real quick. Um, I can't be too loud. Uh, my wife and my son are already sleeping, but um, I got most of the crib assembled up here before they went to sleep and I kind of had to stop just to kind of, you know, keep the noise down. But I wanted to give you a peek at how it's going to look when it's fully assembled. I still have to install the mattress support and also peg the the tenons up here on the rails, I guess up here and down there, the top and bottom rails with the brass pegs. So again, just wanna give you a quick look at this before we head down to the shop and I'll show you the method I came up with for the mattress support and then how I cut some of the pegs and all that stuff too. But I do have a quick update on my trailer project. I got some time in on that this weekend. So Saturday was a really nice day. So I spent some time out here working on the log arch I got the actual arch part welded up, these two joints here, and all I have to do is weld these two here, prep them and weld them, and then the arch itself will be welded together. Now I was originally going to just have a pivot on this leg here up here on the uh, pin, but when it actually folded down it contacted on here, and it was way too high in the air for it to be really effective. It, didn't, it doesn't have to touch the deck like this, but it was like four feet in the air which is way too far. So I added this extra piece on here to kind of offset a little bit and later on I'll add a gusset to here so you have a nice plate on both sides to kind of reinforce this since now instead of all the force being focused right here now this weld is under stress because the whole thing is being pushing down and you got some shear force there so the gusset will help here and it's the same thing on the other side and it's in my pretty welds <laughs> but here are two of the gussets that I cut for up here, and those will go on like, you know, something like that. So all of the joints will have gussets, so that way there's a lot more, obviously there's a lot more weld area here than just the small weld space that I have here that I have to worry about. So if my welds aren't that great, I have a lot more structural integrity here with the, the gussets. So that's my plan with that. So to cut the rest of the gussets, this is the, material for that. This is quarter inch by four inch plate. So, or bar or whatever. So that's, uh, that's the log arch. So first off, I wanted to show you how I cut this brass rod here into the actual pegs that will go into the tenons in the, uh, on the crib to hold those rails in. And to cut them to the right length, I have a really simple jig here. This is an off cut from when I cut the taper on the leg so I have the actual thickness of the stock I'm going to be using so I know exactly how long this rod needs to be. I just glued this piece on the side here as a stop so when I insert this rod I know exactly like how long it has to be to be you know, the perfect size to go into the leg. And then I set up the fence so that I had just a little bit of clearance between the blade and the side of this block here so I had a little bit of material to remove on the brass when I went to clean it up. And this actually went really easily, and this thing cuts really quick. Let me show you. And I just have a stick here to kind of just you know, level things out. So that's the one I just cut, and this one I polished up a little bit just to kind of clean things up a little bit. There's still some scratches in there, but I'm not too worried about it. It's pretty clean from the get-go. And this chamfer, or a roundover or whatever, kind of serves a dual purpose. For one, it makes it to go into the hole easier and through the tenon and out the other side a little bit easier. And then the other thing it does is if this rod or this pin isn't exactly the right length, if it's too short or too long, this uh, beveled area here will kind of hide that um, and I'll kind of hide the fact that it's not flush if it's not. So lastly, I want to show you the mattress support piece that I came up with here. So this will mount between the legs. There's holes on either end for a bolt, and then I still have to cut it, but on this side, yeah, this, yeah, this side, there'll be a groove that I'll mount the cleat into, and then I can screw the, um, the actual mattress support boards to it so they'll kind of rest in there something like that on that cleat. It's 
It's exactly the same thing I did as the bassinet. That's my plan with that. Now for the adjustment mechanism, I'm going to thread the, um, I guess it'll be, I'll be tapping. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be tapping the holes that these go into on the inside of the legs. And I'm going to use these guys here. These, um, these are socket head cap screws. I was going to get the button heads because I think those would look a little better, but these aren't going to be seen. And the hardware store I went to only had the socket head in this length. So that's what I bought. This on a washer into here, and now it gets screwed directly into the leg. And then that'll allow me to have different locations on the leg so I can move the mattress up and down, or actually down, <laughs> as um, JR gets older. Now, Paul commented last week, and I'll leave a link to his um, channel in the description, if I had thought of using these furniture bolts, and I did. That's actually where this idea kind of came from. I started with this, and I'm like, you know, those, these are pretty common, as he had mentioned, and it would probably work, but I think they're a little dinky. <laughs> <laughs> for my own personal preference. I feel more comfortable with this because I know I could probably get in there and jump around on this mattress and it won't you know, break this. I don't know how strong these things are. This is probably way overkill, but and this would probably work, but I still feel comfortable with this. <laughs> That's just me though. But yeah, you know, same, same kind of concept. The, the bolts will just tap right into the, the hole in the leg. And here's a, uh, here's a sample here I got a hole in here with some with some uh, threads in it already that I tapped and I can just thread that bolt right in there no problem so that's the uh, the plan with that threading woods always exciting <laughs> uh, I did it on my workbench for the vices and it worked out just fine and works great so I figured I might as well use that here as well so it was a pretty big week with the crib build finally so close to the end I just have a few little, you know, details here and there to finish up and that thing will be done and I can get it behind me. I am extremely sick of that build. <laughs> it's really been wearing on me. So now that I'm done with that, I can really focus on some new stuff, <laughs> which includes editing video because I haven't had um, enough opportunity to put out some of the videos I've had in my queue for a while. So I'm looking forward to actually editing some videos, starting with the flooring video that I've been working on. I got pretty far in that last week, but unfortunately I got sick and my voice just kind of went. So I couldn't do my narration for that video last week. So unfortunately I didn't get that one out last week or else I would have. But my voice is almost back so I can do my narration finally. <laughs> Hopefully I sound better than I did a few days ago because a few days ago it was, it was really bad. <laughs> if you missed it last week, Matthew Morris and I put out a new episode of the Matt and Matthew show. We talked about um, education, you know, learning about woodworking and, you know, how we went about learning and different techniques for that. Mostly focusing on the online education that we have now. There's just so much of that out there in the world now or on the internet now. That's really changing the way we learn things. So that is out. I'll have a link to that in the description. And I think that about does it for this week. So thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I appreciate those and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Until next time, happy woodworking.